Robert just checked us into the West Twin Inn. It's raining out. How'd the check-in process go? It was wonderful. Wonderful, they were quick. Very nice people. Very nice people. West Twin Inn, 201. We're in the area where we were last time. Not Good. the same room, but. Good. Oh, they even got shell bags. We didn't yeah. get shell bags last time. Perfect. It has a list of all the different shells. Yay. Oops. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Got some, oh, the coupon book. Got some stuff to do. We're looking for room 201. We're just moving the car down further because we should be in the building straight ahead. We're actually on the second floor this time. We did request the second floor. We wanted to see the beach a little higher at night. I think we're gonna get the room you wanted. Oh my God, exactly. It is the room directly above the room we stayed at last time. Last trip we were in 101. Today we are in 201. That makes me extremely, extremely happy. So that means we have a full kitchen. Ooh, oh my gosh. I think it was even slightly nicer than the one down below. All right, mini kitchen. King size bed, dark wood furniture. And this is what we're most excited about. If I can figure out how these curtains work. The view, oh my God, Robert, it must be high tide. Yeah. Look how oh, high. Oh my god. This. Remember we couldn't see the water really well before. Well, yeah. It... Amazing. Can, I, can, I can see shells from here. Look at that shell line. I, re I, I asked them for this room so they, a while back. So they, All right. They were nice. So this is West One End. This is considered a suite. So not a standard room, a suite room. Suit, sweet, but sweet. And then. Oh, even have a current and anything I like? Not really. Should have brought some hot cocoa. Standard bathroom. Still got some toiletries. Oh, they even like say Sanibel on them. I don't remember the last one saying Sanibel on them. All right, we have a regular tub. That's good. Sometimes when you request a king size bed, you get a handicapped room, but the tub is normal. All right, very nice. We're at the West One End for the next four days. We are here at the West One End. Just checked in, unpacked our luggage real quick, and now we are gonna go find something to eat because we have not ate all day. I don't even think I remembered breakfast chocolate. I really had nothing today. I'm starved. It's like three o'clock. See our little mini toy car? I hate it. <laughs> Damn, I hit the thing. So, yeah, because the car is so low. Oh my god, so worst rental car ever. Anyway, it's raining as you can see, little spots. Um, and I checked the weather when I packed yesterday. There was no forecast of rain, but it's Florida. I should have known better. Should have really known better. So now we're gonna um, hit the traffic. I didn't show it earlier or I didn't record it earlier because I was just hangry but it is a busy 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 holiday week here uh, apparently this was the spot for everyone to go for New Year's Eve because traffic has been pretty bad it should normally have taken us 10 minutes to get to our hotel room it took like 45 minutes it was crazy so but we're going back towards the traffic because we're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna stop by Jerry's grocery store and get some snacks for the week since our room has a fridge. Uh, we're gonna get some snacks, some water, soda, the good stuff, the normal stuff. Um, we still plan on eating out, but not like every single meal, so. And see, can you see all that traffic already? Probably not, but yeah, traffic's pretty busy. She's rollerblading. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> a little jealous. Last time I was rollerblading, I almost broke my butt, so I'm not 100% jealous. <laughs> I'd rather have a bike. It's a good thing about West One Inn is we do get free bike rentals, and we will definitely be biking every day. 
All right, so my husband just checked his email and he gets like emails from Sanibel just like with updates of their city board and stuff. And it's his first time he's ever got this email. December 30th, heavy traffic advisory. As of 12.23 p.m., more than 6,000 vehicles have entered Sanibel Island. As a result of this volume, we expect heavy traffic for the remainder of the day. Wow. And this, because we were just sitting in this traffic. Don't feed the alligators. It's five hundred dollar fine. I would think. That's just so. Anyway, first time he's ever got this warning. A little too late. We're already stuck in the middle of it. But I think we would have been stuck in no matter what. We're, we love. We were leaving the room no matter what because we need food. Whether we wait in this hour line or not, we need food. So yeah, six thousand cars came to Sanibel today. All right. We are underneath Jerry's. It is two levels. Um, you can go ahead and drive, honey. So the top level is where the grocery store is at. So if you buy a lot, they have a conveyor belt and they'll bring it down for you and you just pull under and they load your car for you. Um, I didn't record inside Jerry's. If you're interested to see what Jerry's looks like, just like Google my videos because I do have a Jerry's walkthrough. What was that door again? Which one, the trunk? Or no, your door. Back door. Let me see if it was my door. Yeah, Probably the truck. Oh, it was me. Okay. It was me. Anyway, so we went into Jerry's. It is crazy crowded. Here's the traffic guy straight ahead. The as many times as we've been here, I have never seen it this crazy crowded. Not even Memorial Weekend. So the grocery store was pretty busy with clueless people. Um, we actually ended up spending $185 worth of groceries. I will do a grocery haul when we get back. Our original intention was not to buy that many groceries. We went, we were going to eat at Melissa's Cafe, um, but we went in and they say online that you don't have to have reservations. So we went inside and they're like, no, we're only accepting reservations tonight. And so we're like, okay, forget you. Um, that kind of just irritated us. They should have said that online. And so we already knew tomorrow you can't get reservations for anywhere but the website made it look like that you could that melissa's was okay to just walk in um but it was not so anyway long story short short melissa's wouldn't get us in and we weren't going to try any other restaurants because it is more busy than i have ever seen and so what we decided was and i can't wait i need to go home and eat and so we bought some ready-made food to eat for tonight and then we bought tomorrow was new year's eve um and we can't get reservations which i'm fine with that because i really wanted to spend the night on the beach mostly so i don't really want to sit two three hours at a restaurant and so we got some shrimp for tomorrow night and so basically two nights worth of expensive uh restaurants we just bought worth of groceries we got some fancy stuff got some wine and, base, lunch. and lunch and um, a couple lunches and yeah. so some snacks some strawberries that are made in florida orange juice from that's made in Florida. Strawberries were, did I say it? Grown, I'm sorry. The strawberries were grown in Florida. And the orange juice was made in Florida. Remember, if you watch the Sun Harvest Citrus, that place was packed so we didn't buy anything. They had Sun, Har Sun Harvest Citrus orange juice here. So, it's fine. It's not exactly what we planned, but I'm just, I, we just didn't want to go to try 20 million other restaurants because I've just, I don't know what to say. I, I, I just am surprised how many people are here, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't be surprised because I should have realized with Florida having no travel restrictions and California having all the travel restrictions and New York having all the travel restrictions, um, people who normally wouldn't necessarily go to Florida are coming to Florida. Uh, for vacation because they can't do it where they want and I I definitely feel like That's where I think all these people are. Oh, these people are jerks. Yeah, they are. Did you just see that? This is a no passing. Well, he has his hazard on. I don't know why. Anyway, it's too crazy to be passing people on this road That was that was an air mess right there. Let me put this down. That sun is bright. So anyway, um, everyone is coming to Florida So I should have expected it um, I was I was I guess I just got spoiled because the last time we were here, it wasn't busy at all. Um, but I, you know, I think like us, everyone else is 
tired of staying at home <laughs> and want and want to travel. So uh, anyway, luckily our room has a small kitchenette and a nice table and a beautiful view. So we are going to go home, back to our room, get some ice, crack out the our personally made charcuterie board tonight. <laughs> Um, and watch the sunset on our deck screened in so we don't have to worry about bugs. It's, it's going to be, you know, it's not necessarily what we wanted, but I don't know that I really want to eat out around people right now. Um, we're fortunate that our hotel does have a nice sit down dining and a pool bar that has pretty good sandwiches. So we're not even going to try to drive anywhere tomorrow because if traffic is that bad today, imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow on New Year's Eve. So if we want um, food, not the food that we bought, I think we will eat for lunch tomorrow at our hotel. And, and you know what I'm saying? So no, no restaurants tomorrow unless it's one we can walk to essentially, right honey? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this traffic. No, this I mean, it's, what time is it? It's five o'clock and we got here at three. So we've basically spent and we were probably only at the grocery store for 30 minutes. So basically spent the last hour and a half sitting in traffic. Not how I want to spend my vacation. So, yeah, that's, you know what? I just, I, if, if, modern, I don't know what to tell you. It's not been the best travel day. It's really not. Nothing has happened how we wanted it, but you know, that's, that's life. It doesn't always go as expected. Well, I so. would rather just eat the food that we want as opposed to... Oh my gosh. How do these people get their crap together? <laughs> well, there is another guy coming. It's like, do we have to wait for him? Don't wait for him, too. Come I'm on, not waiting Rams, for him. let's go. I don't know what I was saying. Anyway, I, why overpay for food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Sweet, sweet Melissa's, the food was fine, but it's not It's it's not that great. Um, it's not like we're having bologna sandwiches. We got yeah. some, like high-end meats and cheeses and it's going to be a, a nice little basically a bunch of little appetizers um and tomorrow you know with the shrimp we always eat shrimp on new year's eve so that's really not going to be that much different but we're going to have a heck of a view and we would not have had that view at melissa's um sweet melissa's so i think i'm just mentioning this because the last trip we came here not captiva but the one before that during the height of the pandemic uh most of these restaurants were closed and so we ate a lot in our room and it really wasn't that fun um but we bought a bunch of cheap food so i think this trip it'll, it'll be different because we bought really expensive food kind of like the appetizer food we've been eating lately anyway and so it will you know be nice nice break and got a couple bottles of wine and a case of water for the week so not just food for two days enough food that um not food that if you know none of these other restaurants uh, you know have openings at least we have food to eat, to eat and not have to go back because that everywhere is crazy crowded i just i just can't believe it i'm just gonna keep going on about that i'm just surprised and i don't think there's any food down here that's that great that no no you know, i mean there's no restaurant that's that other restaurants are good don't get me wrong All but right. i mean off the top am i crushed that i can't eat at sweet melissa's no i'm not crushed i i'm looking forward to we're gonna make asparagus wrapped. Um, what is it? What is it, honey? What's the meat? Prosci huh? Prosciutto. And I got some like nuts and chips and dips and strawberries and champagne. And this is not us. We're that's further. Not, this, uh, we're not sunset. We have stayed here before. Why do I keep thinking that's our spot? I don't know. It's it's the blue sign down here. It's before the the turn on the turn out the turn off. Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna say turn the turn right before that blue sign right there. This is West Linn Inn. This is where we're staying, and this is our favorite hotel right now. And as you can see, the parking lot is full. <laughs> Last time we were here, it was empty. This parking lot is full. All right, this is our. Jerry's grocery haul charcuterie board. Um, these were already pre-wrapped. I wrapped those, just a bunch of different meats and cheeses, crackers, a little nut mix, some mustard. So Robert was calculating if we would have actually made it to Melissa's Cafe, we would have spent $140. Without tax. Without tax. So, and I'm just excited about this charcuterie board than Melissa's, so definitely, it worked out. 
it worked out i'm very excited to eat this and like i said earlier look at this view cannot complain about that even though it's a little cloudy out i don't care it is beautiful we are getting ready to eat our destroyed sunflower cupcake and um since the sun actually set pretty early at six uh, I don't think we're going to walk the beach. I do. We can walk the beach at night. It's not turtle nesting season. I have a great flashlight. And I totally plan to walk the beach a lot tomorrow night at dark and on New Year's Eve. But I don't know if you can tell them by voice. But I am exhausted. My husband is exhausted. It's been a very trying travel day. Uh, we wasted too much of the day stuck in traffic on Sanibel. And so I will have to say this is the first time we've ever been to... Uh, Sanibel on the first day and not been able to go to the beach so I just don't I don't know I don't feel like walking the beach right now Robert don't feel like walking the beach right now I set my alarm for like 6 a.m we're gonna get up super early and walk the beach for the first time tomorrow so it's just kind of odd for us to not actually go shelling on the first day but I don't know what to say it's not been the best travel day so I'm gonna make myself feel better with this icing Oh my god. That is some good buttercream icing. Did you try some of that icing, Robert? Yeah. That's your fork right there. It's delicious. We're splitting the cupcake. Oh my god. I think I need to break this thing open. That is like awesome icing. Oops. Here, I think this is like chocolate fudge in the middle. You Let's try that. I don't want that chocolate fudge. It is. Mm. That is fudge. That is completely different icing than this buttercream. It's fabulous. All right, we're gonna devour this cupcake. I'm, I'm gonna check my email and Whoa. do a little work and probably be in bed by nine. That's crazy, but you know what? It is a little bit of a vacation. <laughs> yeah, so so it's okay with going to bed at nine. So, hey, okay, thanks for watching and Keep watching my channel if you want to see shelling videos and other videos of the strip. And hopefully, hopefully the vacation gets a little better because <laughs> not off to a good start yet. <laughs>